Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Then the main event was Kyle O'Reilly, Orange Cassidy, Will Ospreay versus Pac, Wheeler, Yuta, and Claudio. And obviously this was a teaser for the Will Ospreay Pac match. And they got in there, did a big high spot. They got a standing ovation. Everybody else worked, and then they ended up fighting again near the end, brawled on the ramp. Uh, Will ended up countering the uh, reverse Frankensteiner, and he threw Pac off the ramp, hit the flip dive. They brawled to the back, and then in the ring, uh, Wheeler drop kicks Kyle out of midair. Kyle, uh, Claudio pins him. They retain. Actually, this was, well, it was, it was a it was, it, was a, it was a giant swing. It was a giant swing into a drop kick. So he did a 10-rep giant swing with Kyle, and then Wheeler drop kicks him on the 10th rep, and then Claudio basically pinned him. Um, and Or Wheeler, whatever it was, they did the pin from that. But the um, I was surprised because I've seen that spot so many times and I've never seen it lead to a pin. So I was not expecting that to be the finish. But um, awesome match. Like, freaking awesome match. Um, yeah. So Brian goes down to celebrate afterwards. They're jumped by the elite. It's four on three. Jack's going to kill Brian with a chair shot, but Claudio takes him out and ends up with the elite dragging a Jack to safety. And then Claudio says, you guys made the biggest mistake of your lives. I've been collecting gold lately, and I have nothing to do it all out. And so they challenge the Bucks for the tag team titles. So it is Claudio and Wheeler versus the Bucks for the tag team titles. That would probably be a hell of a match. Yeah, and then uh, that's when Brian did his plug for the Sunday pay-per-view. At which point Excalibur quickly noted it was Saturday. Yeah. I, I do think looking at this lineup, you know, for better or for worse, of the matches they've announced, I think there's going to be a hell of a pay-per-view. I mean, Paige, I think Paige and Swerve, like, if you, you know, the Texas death match they had, as much as I didn't like it, it was probably the best Texas death match I've ever seen. I mean, it was, and I've seen a lot of Texas death matches. And this is supposed to be even bigger. I'm sure that match will be outstanding. Um, Danielson and Jack Perry will be great. Will Ospreay and Pac un will probably be unbelievable. Um, this tag match will be good. You know, Willow and Chris should be fine. Street fight, so it'll probably, you know, God, a lot of street fights. But, I mean, on paper, this is looking like a, a really big show. I don't know. It feels too quick, you know, coming back, even though two weeks is better than one. You know, for AEW, it feels awfully quick to come back, and AEW's not lighting the world on fire as far as popularity goes right now, even though, you know, like their deliverance of big sh of pay-per-views is, is outstanding for the most part. But, um, so I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm real interested. I mean, it feels, it, it didn't feel to me like uh, people were ready for another pay-per-view, but boy, they did a, they did a great job with the, um, with the key angles. You know, Max and, and uh, Daniel Garcia should be a great match, too. So, I mean, this, this on paper is looking like a hell of a show. So the show ends with Tony coming out for a contract signing. Did they announce this? The contract signing? I was like, what is the main event of this show? Yeah, yeah. They, all the, throughout the whole show, they said that there was going to be a contract I'm signing. I'm talking yeah. like before this. Was this announced this afternoon? Um, it wasn't announced signing? as of noon today because I ran down the rundown. Um, I don't remember when it was announced. I, I thought I knew about it, though. Well, he calls out. I mean, I, I did, I did know about. It. I don't know when when they officially announced it, but yeah, they they it probably was today. But which unfortunately is another one of their issues. It's like there's like literally no reason that this couldn't have been announced a week ago. So out comes Swerve. They play Hangman's music. No Hangman. Play it again. No Hangman. And then a video appears on the big screen, and Hangman is at Swerve's childhood house that he has just purchased. And Hangman says, why do I need to be there to put my name on a piece of paper for a match everyone knows is going to happen? You're a hard man to find. Looked all over Florida, Seattle. I see your fiancé left you. You have kids that aren't in the picture anymore. Now you really messed up because you showed the world something very important to you, your childhood home. Your mom probably made supper here. Your dad told you to shut up so he could hear the TV. Probably didn't love you, did he? And he says, uh... What a wonderful world it would have been if you had never been born. And then he reveals he has a gas can. And the crowd gasped and Swerve starts freaking out, but there's nothing he can do because he's thousands of miles away. And Hangman says, you know I'm here. You watched me carry my pregnant wife to the hospital. You told me to choose between hate and success. For me, it's not much of a choice. They're the same thing. He starts pouring gasoline all over the house. He says, I told you 
months ago. There's nothing more I wanted out of this life than to burn your world to the ground. Happy to help you uh, make this all slip through your fingers as title. If I couldn't take it from you, I helped take it away. And it's the pay-per-view Sunday. going to be on your knees begging for mercy, pleading for forgiveness. And now it's time to say goodbye. You can say goodbye to ever holding the title again. You can say goodbye to your health, joy, and happiness on Saturday. And you're going to say goodbye to Swerve's house. And he lights a match, and he throws on the ground. He's sitting in a chair in the grass in front of the house, drinking a cocktail, and the thing of fire goes up behind him. Boom, whole house burns to the burns to the ground. The fans are screaming, this is arson. Hangman's just drinking his liquor. And uh, I will say this. It's completely fucking preposterous, but it was so awesome. Adam Hangman Page was, was fantastic. Adam, Adam Page was fantastic. Swerve was, was fantastic. Yeah. Nana was fantastic. The fans were eating this up the second they saw that gas can. I thought this was awesome. Now, with that said, how's this guy getting out of 14 years in prison for arson? It's ridiculous. I don't know. The same reason everybody gets away with kidnapping on, on NXT and attempted murders and things like that on wrestling forever. Well, to be fair, we have never actually seen Tony D murder anybody. It's alleged. But this guy burned a house down right in front of us on national television. There's, It's on TV. Well, we've seen people do heinous acts on wrestling shows with no repercussions for a long, long time. I mean, arson, nah. I actually Maybe. think Hangman's winning, too. I don't know but, that. Uh, you know. But, but, I mean, he's lost every single time. He's lost every win so far, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know who's winning. I don't know that it really matters who's winning because one of the things is it is unsanctioned, so the win or loss doesn't count anyway. That's one of the steps. So whoever wins, wins. You know, I mean, the idea is essentially that uh, it's going to be the most bloody, violent, gruesome. I mean, you know, I mean, look, they got the match from last year that that uh, they've got to equal or top. And that's going to take a lot to equal or top that match. And they're very good wrestlers uh, in a cage. I mean, we, we may get guys coming off the cage doing crazy things. Um but we're going to probably have a lot of objects. I think we're probably going to have some cinder blocks or something like that. Um, yeah, it'll be wild. I'm glad they're going on. I'm glad they're going on last, and they're not going to put uh, make Brian Danielson have to wrestle Jack Perry in a wrestling match afterwards, because uh, that wouldn't be a good thing. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. You have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never You'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.